Chapter 12 Then he commanded to bring her in where his plate was set, and bade that they should prepare for her of his own meats, and that she should drink of his own wine. And Judith said, I will not eat thereof, lest there be an offence, but provision shall be made for me of the things that I have brought. Then Holophanes said unto her, If thy provision should fail, how should we give thee the like, for there be none with us of thy nation? Then said Judith unto him, As thy soul liveth, my lord, thine handmaid shall not spend those things that I have, before the Lord works by mine hand the things that he hath determined. Then the servants of Holophanes brought her into the tent, and she slept till midnight. And she arose when it was toward the morning watch, and sent to Holophanes, saying, Let my lord now command, that thine handmaid may go forth unto prayer. Then Holophanes commanded his guard that they should not stay her. Thus she abode in the camp three days, and went out in the night into the valley of Bethulia, and washed herself in the fountain of water by the camp. And when she came out, she besought the Lord God of Israel to direct her way to the raising up of the children of her people. So she came in clean and remained in the tent until she did eat her meat at evening. And in the fourth day, Holophanes made a feast to his own servants only and called none of the officers to the banquet. Then said he to Bogoas the eunuch who had charge over all that he had, Go now and persuade this Hebrew woman which is with thee that she come unto us and eat and drink with us. For lo, it will be a shame for our person if we shall let such a woman go, not having had her company. For if we draw her not unto us, she will laugh us to scorn. Then went Bogoas from the presence of Holophanes and came to her. And he said, Let not this fair damsel fear to come to my lord, and to be honoured in his presence and drink wine, and be merry with us, and be made this day as one of the daughters of the Assyrians, which serve in the house of Nebuchadnezzar. Then said Judith unto him, Who am I now, that I should gainsay my lord? Surely, whatsoever pleaseth him, I will do speedily, and it shall be my joy unto the day of my death. So she arose, and decked herself with her apparel, and all her woman's attire. And her maid went, and laid soft skins on the ground for her, over against Holophanes, which she had received of Pagoas for her daily use, that she might sit and eat upon them. Now, when Judith came in and sat down, Holophanes' heart was ravished with her, and his mind was moved, and he desired greatly her company, for he waited a time to deceive her from the day that he had seen her. Then said Holophanes unto her, Drink now, and be merry with us. So Judith said, I will drink now, my lord, because my life is magnified in me this day more than all the days since I was born. Then she took and ate and drank before him what her maid had prepared. And Holophanes took great delight in her and drank more wine than he had drunk at any time in one day since he was born.